Hello friends, welcome to my grammar class. This is Praveen Maski, teacher of English, Moradji Desai Residential School, Dudi Heli. Today I am going to discuss about parts of speech. And dear friends, as we know already, we have discussed in two parts or two series of this session or this kind of session related to parts of speech. In those two sessions, we discussed about noun, pronoun, adjective, verb and adverb. Now, this is the third part of this series. In this series or in this session, we are going to discuss about preposition, conjunction and interjection. Dear friends, as we know, in the first and second part of my video related to parts of speech, there we discussed about the meaning of parts of speech and how many kinds of parts of speech are there and also what is the function of parts of speech. Today in this video, I am going to discuss directly about preposition, conjunction and interjection. Now let's move on to the next uh, parts of speech that is preposition. What is preposition? What does the definition say about preposition? Let's look at the definition. The word which is used to show relationship between noun and pronoun with another noun and pronoun is called a preposition. It means in the sentence, the preposition does the duty of showing the relationship between noun and pronoun with another noun and pronoun. As we know, a sentence definitely will have a subject and predicate and the predicate includes verb and object and that's what we know in sentence uh, patterns we study SVO, SVC, SVOC etc etc. So in, in such kind of sentences the preposition does the duty of showing it acts as the bridge between a noun and pronoun in the sentence with another noun and pronoun and let's see in the next uh, uh, slides how does it do the uh, duty of connecting or uh, acting as the bridge between a noun and pronoun with another noun and pronoun in the sentence and uh, the next question is position what is the position of the uh, preposition in the sentence this is also very very important because sometimes if we fail to identify or uh, to place the preposition in the sentence this a point helps us to identify where does the preposition come in the sentence what is the position of the preposition vaguely sometimes it helps samanya vagi kelu sari namage preposition na artha maadkolodu athwa adara sthana namage samasya adaga samanya vagi kelu kelu sandarbhagalalli ee position annu anta point kuda namage help maadthade what is that it is placed between verb and noun and pronoun this is what we have to carefully observe the sentence begins with sent a noun normally and the next will be verb and next object so we have to understand that the preposition comes between verb and noun or pronoun not noun and verb if we understand it as noun and verb we are going to commit mistake definitely but not between noun and verb we have to understand that it is placed between verb and noun and pronoun and now let's move on to some examples so that we will easily understand. So some of the examples for uh, prepositions are of, of, on, over, before, to, under, near, as, by, into, beyond, along, above, around, after, against, across, yet, behind, etc. Dear friends, I have told you already that these series of parts of speech, part 1, 2, 3, are intended to give you a brief introduction related to parts of speeches. In the next my videos, I am going to discuss in detail, individually on parts of speech. Now let's see the usage of parts of speech. Here are some sentences. Lata runs along the track. Ram is playing on the ground. Cat is under the table. Milka Singh runs like cheetah. Look at these sentences. Take few seconds and try to find out the parts of speech using the clues or definition which we discussed earlier. What does the definition say? The definition says it acts as the bridge between or it connects between 
it shows relationship between a noun and pronoun with non another noun and pronoun that is one point so we have to identify noun and pronoun in the sentence and also the position of the preposition is between verb and noun or pronoun now let's use these clues and uh, solve these questions what is the first sentence lata runs along the track lata runs along the track so in this sentence along is the preposition because look at the sentence here we have two nouns first one is lata and the next one is the track see friends whenever we talk about lata we never remember the track there is no any kind of relationship between lata and track lata an bagge maatadre yavvaglu kuda namu track nenapagodilla track ig mattu lata ge yavade rite sambandha illa but here in the sentence illi matra lata gu mattu track igu ondu sambandha ide avu ibbaru nadu ondu relationship yerpattide aa relationship na connect maartirod yaru along because she is running or she runs along the track anta lata track gunta ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಹಿಡಿದು ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಗುಂಟ ಓಡ್ತಾಳೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳೋವಾಗ ನಾವು ಲತಾ ಮತ್ತು ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕಿಗೆ ನಾವು ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಅನ್ನು ತೋರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಇನ್ ನೌ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಬ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ರನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಬ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಕ್ಲೂ ಸೈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೌ ನಾಟ್ ನೌ ಹಿಯರ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಈಸ್ ರನ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಈಸ್ ನೌ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ verb and noun that is the word along so the along is preposition now let's look at the next sentence that is ramu is playing on the ground so again the same point nivu ide point annu prashne hakkobeku yenu andre ramu n bagge maatadre yavaglu kuda namu ground nenpa agbeku antha athwa ramu gu mattu ground yavade rite sambandha illa but in this sentence illi matra ramu gu mattu ground gu ondu sambandha yerpattide ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಏರ್ಪಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಅವನ ಆಡುವಿಕೆ ಅಥವಾ ಅವನು ಆಡ್ತಿರೋದು ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಮೇಲೆ ರಾಮು ಈಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆನ್ ಈಸ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ರಾಮು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಫ್ಯಾಷನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಗೌಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಎವರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿ ದ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ ಹೋದಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಕೂಡ ಟೇಬಲ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಹೋಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಅದಕ್ಕೂ ಅದಕ್ಕೂ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಈ ವಾಕ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಕ್ಯಾಟಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಟೇಬಲ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸಂಬಂಧ ಏರ್ಪಟ್ಟಿದೆ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಇದೆ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟು ಟೇಬಲ್ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಾವು ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ಪನ್ನು ತೋರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಿಲ್ಖಾ ಸಿಂಗ್ ರನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಚೀತಾ ಮಿಲ್ಖಾ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ವಿ ನೋ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಜಟ್ ಸೊ Milka Singh, whenever we talk about Milka Singh, not necessarily we need to remember Chita. But here in this sentence, we are showing the relationship between Milka Singh and Chita by using the word like. His running is like Chita. So in this fashion, I try to give you introduction or I try to uh, you know, uh, give, make you familiar with preposition by giving Chita. Uh, four examples i hope you understood now it's time to move on to the next parts of speech that is conjunction friends the very word conjunction says or conjunct means joining it does the duty of joining it joins or connects to words phrases or clauses and sentences is called a conjunction the conjunction the duty of conjunction is to join to connect what does it connect conjunction na kelasa enu andre serisuvudu eradu shabdagalanna vakyagalanna athwa fragmented sentence what we call that is phrase and clause adu are bare vakyagalanna serustade mattu shabdagalanna serustade ondu vakyadalli conjunction anta karithe and let us look at some examples for conjunctions for and nor but or yet so with though although because since while as whereas until etc friends here also again we have in conjunctions principally mainly we have three categories that is subordinate conjunctions coordinate conjunctions and uh, correlative conjunctions we shall discuss about 
those kinds in my next video exclusively on conjunctions. Now let's look at the usage of conjunctions. How can we use the conjunctions in the sentence and how does it do the duty of joining and connecting. Manu and Thanu are going to school. The next one is I worked sincerely and got the rank. Third one is this or that will do. The next I am the best student of the year because of my conduct. We have to pronounce it as conduct when it is verb, sorry, when it is noun. Conduct means behavior. If we pronounce the same word as conduct, it becomes verb. We shall learn about the pronunciation in my next videos. So now take few seconds and uh, try to identify the conjunctions in, in the sentences by following the definition which I gave now. Okay, now let's see what are the conjunctions in the sentence. The first sentence, Manu and Tanu are going to school. Here, and is doing the duty of joining or connecting Manu and Tanu. Okay, now let's see. Second sentence, that is, I got the rank as I worked sincerely. Here, I got the rank is one sentence. I work sincerely is another sentence. These two sentences are joined by the word as. The next one is this or that will do. Idu atva adu. Again here we have a join a this or that with the help of or. The next sentence is I am the best student of the year because of my conduct. Here look at uh, the sentence. For the first sentence is independent clause what do we say I am the best student of the year this gives independent meaning there is uh, clauses and phrases when we learn it I'll discuss about it in my uh, next video uh, uh, related to uh, phrases and clauses the first sentence is the first part of the sentence is independent clause that is I am the best student of the year of my conduct this doesn't give you complete meaning so this fragmented sentence, what do we call a, a clause, this is dependent clause. The meaning of this dependent clause depends on the first principal clause. By adding because, we can say I am the best student of the year because of my conduct. This is how the conjunction does, acts, functions. Now it's time to move on to interjection. What is an interjection? The words which express some sudden and spontaneous feelings and emotions are called interjections. It means, Yava Shabda Galu Nama Sudden Bhavani Galana Quick Response Galana Vekta Padisu Likkana Balasunata Shabda Galu Interjections in the Karati. The words which express some sudden and spontaneous feelings and emotions are called interjections. And usually they are placed at the beginning of the sentence. We have to understand this point. Usually I am telling. Not always. Usually the pre uh, sorry interjections are placed at the beginning of the sentence. And a comma or exclamation mark is used after the interjection word in a sentence. And the exclamation mark is used after the interjection word. This is what. We have to understand. Now, let's see some images which show some sudden emotions and feelings where they are also, they are also called interjective imagen, images. Look at the first picture. In this picture, we find the person helpless. He is praying to God, oh my God, what happened? He becomes, he has become helpless. Look at the next picture, he is amused. A kind of shock. He is in the state of shock and amusement. These are the feelings which come suddenly. Because of that I am showing you these images. And in these all situations we respond and react quickly. Next image is shock. Look at the child. Look at the girl. She is completely shocked. When you are shocked, suddenly our response is quick. Oh my God. We say when we look at a huge snake, 
we respond oh my god what a huge snake we never say oh my god what a huge snake we we don't say bala cool agi nidhanavagi entha dodda avalla annodilla nam yavaglu on dodda avanna nodadaga suddenly we say oh my god that is how the expression goes and the next one is anger when you are in a mood of angry there also then also our response and reactions are quick with a tone of temperament the last picture is sorrow when you are sorrow when you are dejected when you are gloom so when you are dismal normally our expressions are very quick so uh, this is about images related to interjections now let's see let uh, how can we use interjections in the sentences oh that sounds wonderful when somebody gives you a suggestion if you feel it is very good suggestion suddenly you say ah oh, that sounds wonderful oh valle vichara es chana oh valle vichara we say oh valle vichara that's how we say oh we so we don't say oh we don't say we never say oh we say oh valle vichara next one alas she is no more when you hear the news of somebody's death suddenly we say is it how da we say we never say how da satla we never say because it's not common to us suddenly we respond alas she is no more and the next one is congrats you achieved great heights when you learn that when you come to know that somebody has achieved some great achievements we suddenly say congrats wow good great that's how we respond congrats you achieved great heights the next one is ouch something has pricked me think that you are sitting somewhere suddenly something bites you you don't know what is that what will be your response ouch something has pricked me something has bitten me we never say yena kaditu yena kadadangaatu do we say like that yena kadadangaatu ant annodilla nam yenadu nam suddenly kadadaga ayyo yena kadadangaitu that's how suddenly we say sudden expressions of feelings is interjections the next sentence is hurra we are going on a trip when your family members or in your school announces that you are going on a trip in coming week what is our response remember in the school wow ke ho hurra yahoo that's how we express we never say ha nam school na tour hantar ant bidu ನಾವು ಯಾವಾಗಾರ ಟೂರ್ ಹೊಂಟೀವಿ ಶಾಲೆಗೆ ಅಂತ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ತಂದೆ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ನಾಲ್ಕು ದಿನ ಟೂರ್ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಏ ಟೂರ್ ಹೊಂಟೀವಪ್ಪ ನಾವು ನಾಲ್ಕು ದಿನ ಟೂರ್ಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಪ್ಪ ನಾವು ಡು ವಿ ಸೇ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಹುರ್ರಾ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಟ್ರಿಪ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಜಾಯ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಫ್ಯಾಷನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಯಾ ಹೂ ವಿ ಒನ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ವಿನ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಯಾ ಹೂ ವಿ ಒನ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಗೆದ್ದಾಗ ನಾವು ಸಡನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ತ ಕುಣಿತೀವಿ ಹಾರ್ತೀವಿ ಜಿಗಿತೀವಿ ಯಾ ಹೂ ಹುರ್ರೆ ಕೆ ಹೋ ವಿ ಸೇ ವಿ ನೆವರ್ ಸೇ ಏ ನಾವು ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಗೆದ್ದೀವಿ ಏ ನಾವು ಇವತ್ತು ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಗೆದ್ವಿ ಡು ವಿ ಸೇ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಹೌ ಡು ವಿ ರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಯಾ ಹೂ ವಿ ಒನ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಯಾ ಹೂ ವಿ ಒನ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಏ ಹೋ ಹುರ್ರ ಹಿಪ್ ಹಿಪ್ ಹುರ್ರೆ ಹಿಪ್ ಹಿಪ್ ಹುರ್ರೆ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸಡನ್ ಇಮೋಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ dear friends up to this i discussed in three series of uh, uh, parsu speech videos related to parsu speech in three videos i try to give you short introduction to all these parsu speeches i know they have to be discussed in detail so in my next coming classes next my, my sessions related to parsu speech again i am going to discuss about the parts of speech individually for example if i talk about noun i have to discuss there the kinds of noun for example common noun proper noun collective abstract a uh, concrete material likewise when i talk about preposition uh, sorry uh, when i talk about uh, pronoun i have to discuss about emphatic pronoun reflexive that's how so when i talk about adverb adverb of time adverb of place that's how we have many things to discuss there so in my next videos i am going to talk about parsu speech again individually in detailed manner i hope you enjoyed this session so dear friends if 
you have enjoyed my uh, videos please uh, if you like the video please like share and comment and subscribe and give feedback on 9845293140 please try to give your feedback through facebook or my whatsapp number this is my whatsapp number and also please subscribe my youtube channel so that uh, uh, you will get uh, the notifications about my videos uh, uh, whenever i upload new videos thank you for watching the video